Hey guys, so I had a couple questions about uh, taking the square root of rational numbers, and I assume if one person asks, I assume that there are a few pro probably a few people. So there are a couple of different cases where um, you might have to do a, a little bit of a different procedure, but here's one of the, one, a couple of ways that we used in class. So if you look at this, um, you got a perfect square here, 121, okay, and you got a perfect square here, 49. So if that's the case, uh, we're really lucky, okay. So what we can actually do is just take the square root of 121 and the square root of 49. And the square root of 121, of course, is 11. And the square root of 149 uh, is 7. So that means the square root of 121 over 49 is 11 over 7. Done deal. Okay? Take that. So here we go. How about this one? This guy's a little bit more... He's angry. Um... He doesn't want to be. He's not. He's not two perfect squares. This guy's not perfect. Okay. He's sort of. Uh, he's a little bit more difficult to deal with. Okay. But what what we can notice here is this fraction is not reduced. Right. We can divide both of these by two. So we'll let's do that. So I'm going to divide 50 by two. That's 25. And I'm going to divide eight by two. That's four. Oh, oh, but wait. What's this? So that's a perfect square divided by a perfect square. So that's 5 over 2. So I took the square root of 25, which is 5, the square root of 4, which is 2. So that's two examples. So one where it's already perfect squares and one when you had to reduce. Okay, so I hope that's, that's clear. But uh, now, what if you have a situation where you can't reduce? Okay, well, if, we were, if it was a multiple choice question and the answer was all in decimals, well... I could go like this. Take in my calculator. I could go 48 divided by 37 equals some weird decimal. I take the square root of that and I get 1.13898959. Okay? But that's not a skill. Anybody can do that. Okay? We want to know, we want to use our benchmarks to be able to estimate this thing ourselves. Okay? So, I'm thinking the whole time, um, 48 over 37. Do I know another fraction that I could maybe use instead of that fraction? Well, I know that the closest square, uh, perfect square to 48 is 49. Closest perfect square to 37, 36. Okay, so... The square root of 48 over 37 is about the square root of 49 over 36. So now what I do, square root of 49, 7, square root of 36, it's 6. So the square root of 48 over 37 is about 7 over 6. All right, guys, hope that clears things up. Take it easy.